Hey, welcome back. I can't believe my eyes, but the linear slides actually arrived. Now these are the two linear slides for the y-axis. Um, so these are the shorter ones. There's one a lot longer that still needs to arrive. I don't know when this will happen. Um, but for now we can start. Um, whoops. The first thing I'm going to do is bolt these linear rails onto the laser using some short M3 screws. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so I've got the linear rail screwed on this end. And something interesting, you can see how crooked this whole thing is, this linear rail. That's easily a millimeter of bend. Now that's not a problem because the um, aluminium profiles are quite straight and using these screws this will just be pulled into place and that's not going to be a problem. It just goes to show what quality you get when you buy pretty much the cheapest linear rails you can get. Okay, so the linear rails are installed and now I'll have to come up with something that prevents this from happening. So a way to actually bolt this um, x-axis here onto these slides. Alright, so this is what I came up with. Got some sheet metal plates here and these will help me mount the x-axis to the linear rails. Okay, here we are. There's no play in this. Looks really good. Now if these screws look a little weird to you, that's because they are. I had to turn this outer diameter of them a little bit down so that these grooves here actually fit onto these. So now it works like this. Now that's uh, on there and we can just use uh, some screws to um, tighten this thing up through these holes. Alright, so this is done. As you can see, this is uh, not won't turn anymore. And this should just move in exactly one direction. And now I've got a bit of a problem. This linear rail is pretty much fixed onto there. And this is just loosely fixed. And we don't really know whether they are parallel. Because if um, they are not parallel and I just bolt this down, this is not going to move very smoothly. So what I have done is pretty similarly to the other one, or to the table actually, is uh, I've fixed one screw here so this can just turn a little bit. And then I'm just gonna move this. And because these, screw are, these screws aren't tightened, this is just going to move itself into position basically. And now because this is, uh, I know that at this point this is the exact same uh, spacing as here. I can just tighten this screw down and I can just move on. And do the same thing with this screw. Just tighten that down a little bit and this one as well. And now we've got two very accurately parallel uh, linear rails. And this should work just fine. All right, so because we don't want to move this thing with our hands, we will have to use some motors. And the motors we're going to use in this project are stepper motors. And the special thing about these is that you can um, create very precise movement because these motors just turn one step with one pulse. So you give it one pulse and it moves ju just one tiny step, which means that we can create very precise movement. And because we have to kind of fasten this thing onto the laser, we're going to use this bracket here. And we're going to put this bracket on here and then put the motor in here. All 
Okay, so this motor is mounted, and as you can see, that's pretty stable and working pretty much perfectly. But now we have to mount the belt on this side as well, so that we have one roller which is moved by this motor and one idling roller. And yeah, let me just show you what I came up with. Okay, I've got these two plates, and these are the mounting holes for the aluminum profile. And this is an M6 uh, thread. And this assembly here just screws into this, just like that. And we've got a bearing in here that will guide the belt. Okay, so there it is, it's mounted. And now we can put the belt on here, fasten it to this beam. And then we should be able to move this axis using this motor. And of course, whoop, this motor over there as well. And they have to turn basically at the same time so that this doesn't get distorted. All right, so we actually need to find a way to attach these belt ends to the axis. And I've got this plate here, which I made. And I will cut a thread in here, in the middle of this extruding. Then we can use a screw to just bolt this down. And of course, just clamp these endings into place. Okay, so I've got the other one mounted as well. And when we drive these two stepper motors, this axis should move parallel to these linear rails. And as you can see, I've mounted this mirror as well. It's not uh, finished with mounting because it has to be very precisely aligned with the mirror that's going to be over there. But, you know, just for giggles.